Hello everyone. In this video, we are continuing the same worksheet from before. We had closed the last video at this problem where we had found out the expected return by using this data here. The manual solution is here. 14% was our expected rate of return. And we had also found the expected return by using the sum product and M mult functions of Excel. And we had noticed that we got the same value of 14% here. In this video, we are going to use the same information to find out the variance and standard deviation of returns from this data. So let us do that in this cell. But before doing that, we need to look at the formula that we need to apply. The formula is D transpose times P times D. Now what is D? D is this vector here, which gives us the deviations of returns from the mean return or the expected return. So the mean return we know is 14%. In the first case, the deviation from the expected return is 10 minus 14 minus 4. So this is the element here, minus 4, the first deviation. And in the second case, 15 minus 14, 1% is the deviation, which has been entered here in this cell. So this becomes our deviation vector. We also need to write the probabilities in the form of a diagonal matrix. A diagonal matrix is a matrix where on the diagonal of the matrix, at least one element should be uh, a non-zero element and all other elements elsewhere in the matrix should be zero. So on the diagonal, therefore, we write the probabilities here. Point 0.2 is the first probability, point 0.8 is the second probability and all other elements are zero. Now we can apply this formula to get the variance um, of returns. Let us do that in this cell. If you look at the formula, you are going to realize that there is going to be um, a multiplication of three matrices here. D transpose is one vector, P matrix, which is our probability diagonal matrix, and then again D vector. So let us do that. M mult start bracket and then and then the Excel is asking us to enter the arrays. So the first array is going to be the multiplication between D transpose and P. Let us do that. Multiplication between. So we write M mult again between transpose of D. So we write transpose of the D vector which is this vector here close brackets and then what is the other matrix the P matrix which is this so we select this matrix here and close the bracket now we have to give the second array that is the D vector so we write a comma and the second array is the D vector which is this so we have supplied all the arguments we can close the bracket and hit control shift and enter all at the same time And there you see the variance being returned, 4% squared, which is the same thing as this. And finding the standard deviation from the variance is going to be pretty simple. We write an equality sign and invoke the square root function of Excel, SQRT, start bracket, and we have to give it a number, which is this, cell, select this, close brackets, hit enter, and there you have it. Your standard deviation is 2% in this case. This is all I wanted to cover in this video. See you next time. Bye-bye.